Hello everyone, this is Daphne o, and I'm back with another Samson Notes app tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to add, delete, and rearrange PDF files as well as individual PDF pages within the Samson Notes app. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you clicking on my video. And those of you who already subscribed, I thank you for returning. Excuse any background noise you hear. I say it in all my videos. I am not a professional, so you will hear all the unprofessionalism in the background. Let's get started into this video. First thing to search is you want to go into your Samson Notes app. And I'm going to show you one way to bring in um, a PDF file, which is to go up in the right hand corner and click Import PDF. And you go to the folder that um, your file is saved in. And click Done. And it'll bring it in as a PDF file. But this does not bring it in as a template, it's just bringing it in as an individual file. I'm going to also show you how. You can bring it in as a as an individual template and here i'm just showing you what the journal um the planner look like this is available on etsy if you would like to purchase it i will leave um the link in the description below if you're interested in this particular planner and now i'm going to back out and i'm going to show you how to import it as a template and what we're going to do is you're going to click over here on the note within the app and then you're going to go to the page setting which is those three little dots on the right hand side you can click on page template and make sure you click on PDF because you can also use images as templates as well. Um, then you can scroll down to the bottom and click on the plus side beside download. And you can go back to the same folder that you saved it in, click on it, click done, and it's going to be saved as a template where you can use it over and over and over again. Like you can use it for individual months for January, February, March, April, May, so on and so forth. And as you can see, there's no title here because now it's a template and you can name it as you please. And I'm going to name this January 2022. And now here what I'm showing you is this is the weekly planner within this template. And I only have one page. That way, when you purchase this planner, it's going to come with just one page um, weekly planner. But once you upload it in the Samson Notes app, you can duplicate it into five pages because there's five weeks in a month. And that's what I'm about to show you here. I went to page sorter. I'm gonna click on the weekly planner page and I'll click on those three little dots. I'm gonna click copy. And then I'm gonna go back and click on those three little dots and I'm gonna click paste. But make sure you paste at the end of the first page. Like click on that first page and then hit paste so that your next page will paste behind it, if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do this for five pages and continue to click paste so that I will have five weekly pages for the month of January. And that's how you can add pages to your PDF file or you know your digital journals or whatever from um, Etsy in the Samsung Notes app. I can't speak for any other app. I only can speak for the Samsung Notes app. I don't know how any other app works. I only know how this app works. And what am I doing here? I lost my train of thought. I'm showing you how you can erase the, like I wrote the week one on that page. But you know you want to go in and put week two, week three, week four. And I'm just showing you how you go click on the little dots and it says erase page. And it will erase everything that's written on the page. Now here I'm going to delete some of the thank you pages. Because I just realized I got like four duplicate pages. Apparently I've done that in the process of recording this video. I don't know. And I am going here and I'm going to delete those thank you pages. Because I don't need all those thank you pages. And as far as the cover page, if you do purchase this... um digital planner the cover page is left blank on purpose so that you can use your digital stickers to customize it in whatever way you like now I went back into and create a new note because I'm gonna do the month of February and that's what I'm gonna title February 22 I was trying to put it a year ahead and I'm just doing the same thing go in duplicate the weekly pages going in deleting the thank you pages because for some reason I, I don't know why is that with me in those pages like <laughs> Yeah, like three, four, five thank you pages. I guess I really want to thank you guys for purchasing my um, product. Now here I'm going to show you like if you want to, if you don't want to do, I'm copying the monthly page and I'm going down to the end of the planner and I'm going to paste it. So like if you don't want to keep doing like January, February, March and you just want it all in one PDF file. I'm showing you how you can copy these pages like you can copy the monthly pages within the same PDF file 
you can copy the weekly pages within the same PDF file. That way you don't have to have 12 different individual PDF files for your planner. Unless that's what you want. That's fine if that's what you want. But if you just want one full planner, you can have it all within um, the one uh, PDF file. And here I went back to show you an easier way. I'm going to show it again because I was talking. But I'm deleting pages that I don't need. I was talking. Y'all can rewind and see what I was doing. But I'm going to do it again just to show you. Because I run my mouth a lot and these words are loose. Delete the thank you page. <laughs> so what, what I did here, if you want to do the whole 12 months in this one file, click on add page. And the tape page template come up. Make sure you're on PDF. And just download this. 12 times that way you have your 12 months of the year and then you just click on edit and you delete the cover page the instruction page and the yearly page as well as the thank you page so that all you're left with is each individual monthly uh monthly and weekly um, pages and then the very last page you can keep the thank you page if you will like but you can rewind it and see what i'm talking about because i was talking through it and that's all i'm doing here duplicating the weekly pages is remember you there's five weeks in a month so you have to duplicate each of those weekly pages if you want to keep it in one large file and i'm naming it the yearly planner because it's going to be all years in a month and we have made it to the end of this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next bye